Hey everybody, welcome to what even is Space Grunts 2. This game was given to me by the developer, who also happens to be the publisher, Orange Pixel, who also you could find on Twitter and you could find on YouTube, so go and give him some love and support. Hey, this YouTube thing is not as, e as easy as it looks, okay? We got a lot of stuff going on. What is this game? I'm glad you asked, and also it's kind of the point of this video. Space Grunts 2 combines some of the fastest turn-based gameplay with card battling mechanics in a 1950s sci-fi roguelike settings. And you know what, dude? If there's one thing I like about the 1950s, it's not about, like, you know, the whole, like, economic collapse. It's not about the social injustice. No, it's the fact that 1950s is, check any historian, you know that it was an era of roguelikes. This game is available right now. Also, my lights are orange, because the, the dev's name is orange. Okay, so you know what? Let's start normal game challenge and daily runs. Love to see it. But you know what? I think we're going to do a normal boy. Dude, I've been playing a lot of, of deck-building roguelike games the last little while. I don't know if you've noticed on the channel. Um, but you know what? Who to beam down? Sometimes running from aliens is the better choice. Yeah, if you're like a coward. All right, who do you want to be? We could be Roke, we could be Grim, or we could be Gadget. I got to be honest with you. You got three attack, two, one. I don't know what any of these stats mean. You have the most attack, and I have a very simple brain. So let's beam down Rourke. And I hope the fact that he's wearing a red shirt doesn't mean that something horrible is going to happen. Yo, we could adjust him. Points available. Okay, we can adjust him. Yeah, just not now. Yo! Um, something, something. We beam down to the planet to investigate the distress signal. I love whoever it was that decided that this game should have a William Shatner-esque, like, over-the-top little boy here. Oh, look, it's junk. Okay, so we can actually use cards for everything, not just combat, huh? Fists. Grab or activate an object. So let's use our fist to get this junk. We're going to grab the junk. Good. Some cards, like the card you just played, have an infinite use and are not bound by the laws of deck sorting. Sweet. Love to see it. These special cards will show up in your hand when usable. Check for the infinity sign in the top right corner. Baby, we've grabbed our junk. Okay, next step. What are you? You're a lamp. Good to have. Happy to see. Dude, I like it. You know, the, the deck building. Can I use my uh, WASD to move? I cannot use my WASD to move. Also, this, this man has like a, a very limited amount of space he can actually move. Ah, so we have more junk. Well, let's just go ahead and fist that junk real quick. Get it out of the way. Good. I like to see like, you know, oh, what are you, dude? All items you pick up will be added to your deck of cards. Good. What about you? I'm glad you found me. I have some random junk that I don't need anymore. It's yours. All right. Yo, 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 yo. Free items, baby. Okay, okay, look at that. The junk deck is building up very gradually, but we are getting there. Okay. Deal one damage. So we have, we're have we fighting a baby gun who is dealing one damage to us. We could deal two damage and one defense. So does this mean that if I play this, I won't get hurt? That was indeed the case. Okay. Dude, this is a... It's an interesting take on, like, the whole, like... You got 2 HP? How about a... Oh, but dude, look, now we don't have any more crowbars. I understand now what they said about sometimes... Yeah, but we have five crowbars on the deck, and you're gonna do nothing? What a fool. I understand what they say now about sometimes running from aliens is a better choice. Because you really want to preserve however many cards you could have in the deck. What are you? You're a crate? I mean, we could, like, Plasma Blast them, but I also want, like, we have infinite fists, so I'm kind of okay with, like, taking a little bit of time here to fist this down, and then we have, like, a whole bunch of stuff that we could pick up. Fruit is very healthy. It'll instantly increase your health. The bigger the fruit, the more HP. Hey, baby, you know, the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Let's go. Okay, what are you? You cannot be interacted with. At least, no, oh, you can. Plasma Bomb. Well, that's not good. Damage received is half? Yeah, but how much damage are you going to do? I mean, it's probably a bad idea to fist the plasma bomb, huh? I mean, ideally, that's not really what you want to do. Detect statistics on enemy, on entity being scanned. Cost one turn. How about I just, like, run away from the plasma bomb? And instead, we could go here. We could fist up this junk, which might not actually be doing anything now that I think about it. But at the very least, hey, man. All right, you got three HP. You're a bolt gun, dude. Hate to say it, but welcome to the friggin' family. Okay. Dude, I'm liking this take on the deck builder. I've never seen this done before, and I understand that this is a second game. It's Space Grunts 2. 
I don't know if Sp Space Grunts 1 was uh, the same situation, but it's, it's, it's nice to see, you know, after the... Beam out to laugh safe spot. How am I going to do that? We still have 16 covers. You only have one left. Cover times 16. Tiny sca scavenge box? Adds three random cards to the top of your deck. Dude, I kind of like want to get out of here, but I guess we're just going to have to like shoot them with a friggin' gun. I feel bad that these boys aren't really defending themselves too much, but... You know, after like... Yo, is that a fruit? Yo, Captain, this fruit is healthy normally. <clears throat> but this one was rotten and bad for your health. We've lost one HP. You monsters. Okay, let's go for this. This looks like a railgun. I would like for Frogman to get out of my way. I do not mean you any harm. And I'm realizing now that a lot of the life forms on this planet are relatively harmless. Or, worst case scenario, they seem to be passive. So, like, let's try not to kill everything. Especially if it's going to cost us cards here. But, yo, healthy fruit. Good to go. But it's nice to see how, like, roguelike deck builders are kind of... Yo, more junk? You fist the junk, dude. Are kind of growing and, and changing after, like, Slay the Spire. Yeah, this dude's following me. Spidero. What do you want to do with a Spidero? I mean, you don't want to, like... You don't want to hit him with a Super Shocker, right? Let's... Can we scan him? Yeah, let's, let's scan it. You're doing two damage? It's a very rare creature with a weak strength and aggression is low. Uh, I'd like to contest that, actually. Okay, you're damaging again, huh? So we could receive half damage... Do nothing and shuffle the first two cards to the bottom of the deck. Beam out. I don't want to beam. Okay, fine. I guess we're going to shoot it. But if he... I, I don't know if he attacks every turn. If he does attack every turn... Yo, that thing just killed everything on the planet surface. That was not just like a U super beam. That was like U super beam and also we're going to extinguish all sentient life on this planet. You're dealing one damage. I don't like that. What if we reduce that by half? Do I take no damage? You take no damage. You love to see it. Okay. Plasma-based weapon. Deal two. Let's do it. He's dealing one. Fair enough. That card you just played has some turns left. This will be put in your inventory deck for your next fight. Okay, okay. Dude, I'm liking this, man. I'm very much into this. And like I tried to say, and I, I apologize because I start many tangents, and very rarely do they ever lead to anything like actually like decent. Okay, that looks like a demon fruit, right? Yeah. Okay, so taking three damage is not really how you want to spend your time. Here we all, but more junk for the fisting. Happy to see it. I will always fist the junk. We will always fist the junk. It's the motto of the game, baby. What are you doing, Space Grunts 2? You fist the junk, dude. So yeah, I think you do that. Quick attack block for defense. We don't really know what he's doing, and we kind of just want to, like, it has, it, it's Acido. <laughs> My favorite Pokemon. I mean, I think you gotta, like, defend just in case. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good move. Okay, you gotta defend, okay. We don't know what he's doing. Let's hit him with a phaser. He's dealing one damage. He's dealing one damage. Okay, okay. I'm getting a, a little bit concerned about our HP, I'll be honest with you. Yo, but that looked pretty good. We have a rocket now. Yo, we found the loot box, baby! What are you? Doesn't matter. You're in the team now. Oh my god. Okay, we've acquiesced so many brand new boys that are shiny and new. Love it inside of my dream. Ooh, I wanna hold you. Space Grunts 2, deck builder roguelike. You love it, you love it, yeah, you love it, yeah, you love it, love it. Okay, I wanna, I, I would like to continue down my way here. But yes, finally getting back to my tangent. You know, after, after Slay the Spire and... It's hard not to tell. Oh, it's a plant! No, don't fist the plant! Okay, that's fine. Oh, we, we seem to have found some sort of healing station, which honestly is coming at a great time. Avoid that fruit. It seems to be poisonous and made you sick. All right, well. Stop eating bad fruit, you monster. Stop giving me the ability to eat bad fruit, you monster. But it's, we've seen like an evolution of, of deck-building roguelike games ever since Slay the Spire came out. And, and I, I honestly think it's like one of my favorite things about Slay the Spire isn't the game itself, which I know is going to sound crazy, but I can open you. You're a metal crate with three HP, huh? Replace his current hand with attack cards. We only have one of those in the deck, so maybe we don't want to use that. Let's try doing some damage, and now we could fist it, but we can't really fist it. I kind of want to save the crowbar. 
I, I Give me the scavenge box. I would like something that does damage. Adds three random cards. Use all cards in current hand and combine their attack points. That seems really good. <coughs> Place a small explosive. That sounds like it'll work. Uh, now we run. I don't know how small this explosive is, but I'm just going to stand probably out of this little gradient area. Oh, you got to move to make it count. It worked. <laughs> I'll take that. Damage items. They might still work fine. Okay, so we... Oh, I'm, I'm on fire. I'm on fire, baby. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. But I do like how Slay the Spire has caused the deck-building roguelike uh, genre, really, to evolve past what it was, you know? We're seeing new stuff. No, no, no. Dude, don't lock me in here with a froggo. Sorry, with a baby gone. Let's just whack it. Take care of it. Stop dealing damage to me. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. Now it's a baby yolk. A baby yerk. I don't want to beam out. I'm not a coward. You're dealing two damage. Quick attack block for three defense is probably our best play here. Place a big bomb and ends current round. Ends the round. I think we should save that. But I'd also, like, really like to get some damage dealing cards here because, like, it's getting a little bit bad. Deal two damage and lose one HP. Not really what I want to see. So let's just, like, whack him with a crowbar. Be good to go. Yo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found block. Okay. You know, because we wouldn't have games like... Well, I mean, it's, it's not nice to say we wouldn't have games like this without Slay the Spire. But I feel like... Set as a safe spot. Yo, let's go! Teleport activated, baby! We could beam up! Yo, it's another local! I'm glad you found me. I have some random junk that I don't need anymore. It's yours. Yo, is that a med kit? It's a freaking med kit, baby. What are you? Exit. Well, can I, like, go? Retreat? Maybe I have to walk in into it, which makes a lot of sense. I don't know. Fist the exit. Yo, it worked! <laughs> I feel so much more experienced. Now, yo, we cleared the floor! Add a modifier, baby! No health loss from self-inflicted damage. We don't really have... We have, like, one card where that benefits. I don't think it's worth it. 30% <coughs> chance of turning your enemies to sleep. Interesting phrasing for that. Oh, excuse me, sir. Uh, sorry, I've had a long day. I'm going to turn to sleep for the moment. Teleport to last safe spot when your HP falls below 6. I'm not a coward. I'm going to take boring. I mean, yes, I know the joke writes itself, but ha 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 Metal Cray. Captain, we saved your current game. The save game is only valid if you quit now, or at least don't die. Okay, thank you. I don't, I don't want to use... Our deck is getting, like, pretty spicy. I don't want to, like... Unless we could fist something. Yo, our fists do two damage now. That's incredible. Our fists are now, like, unstoppable. She alive, damn it. It's a miracle. You know, that's a, that's not a reference I can make. I haven't watched the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. Despite it being, from what I hear... Oh, this is a bad place to be. Leave me alone, baby turtle. Oh, you fool. You absolute fool. Okay, that dude is like actually a space grunt. Leveled... Yo, 10 HP. Powerful gun. But due to overheating, you'll drop 5 cards, but you deal 10 damage. I mean, oh, you, fool, you fool, you absolute fool. Was that worth losing five random cards? No, obviously not. Like, anyone could tell you that was a dumb thing to do. These tornadoes look dangerous. They will certainly shuffle your deck a bit. Maybe toss you around, so hang on. Nah, dude. Is this an eating plant? Yes, okay. Increase plus one attack on the first five cards in your deck for one defense. In one defense. Does this, like, is this a permanent thing? Oh, this is, like, an actual monster. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna shoot it. <laughs> I was really hoping to get some fruit out of that. Alright, stay away from the tornado. You're doing great, sweetie. Okay. Um, not a huge fan of this room for a couple reasons, but I would like that, that fruit. Oh, dude, you're killing me. You're literally gonna kill me. Multiplies damage, time twos for current round attack, deal plus one damage, and you get a card. I think one damage and defending is, like, perfect for this. Okay, now we're on to you. You're gonna do five damage? Have fun, losers. I'm out. Uh, excuse me. I don't know if you've realized this, but I just planted, like, a, a Kaiser bomb. So I'm gonna need you to... I'm gonna really need you all to, like, get out of my way. Hold on. Play this smart. 
One, two, goodbye, cowards. <laughs> the fact that there are turtles that are still alive is ridiculous to me, but yo. First of all, get the fruit. Okay. Secondarily, are you seeing all of this? Deals four damage? Just shoot it, dude. Are you seeing the amount of boys in which we have just acquiesced from a single Kaiser Boomba? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Stop blocking me at every exit. I wanted whatever that riot shield was, but it doesn't matter now. Okay, we're, we got 40 cards. We are absolutely killing it in, like, the ability to pick up things department. Fist it. Nice to see. My main concern right now is, oh, you're going to make me do this, dude. We really can't afford to take, like, any damage. So, yeah, popping out, like, even a one defense card is, like, it's pretty solid for us. Okay, okay, okay. So, what do we have? We have the ability to have a lot of cards. And I could, yo, finally get this. Let's go, baby. Found block. Send it in. My issue is that we will be dying probably sooner rather than later. Thank God that was a fruit. Okay, okay. Baby boy's in the way. Scavenger, 5 HP. Not an issue. I have a plasma gun. Oh, but taking five damage is not what you want to see when you have very low amounts of HP. Please be a fruit. Pod plant. Blast it. Hey, get some defense, too, just in case this thing actually, like, hits back. It doesn't? I didn't... Oh, we're healing up, baby! Okay, okay. Lots of crates. I mean, if we could get, like, an explosive card, we could pop it down there. And you know I'm enjoying the game because now I'm, I'm talking about the game. Fist it. I think this is worth, like, using a couple fists to maybe spend a little bit of time here to, to get down to, like, yeah, like, even, like, a extra attack-based card. It's pretty solid for us. So now I'm looking at the map. I'd like you to, to get out of my way, if that's, like, at all possible. One day you'll let me through, dude. One day you'll... All right, fine. Is this what you want? Lose one HP? No. Yo, this thing is like a survivor from like the the friggin' fall. He had one HP left after being like eviscerated by like the big boy nuke. Don't be a poison plant. I know it kind of looks like a skull, but I mean they all do. Set a safe spot. Let's go. Okay, it wasn't a poison plant, baby. We're learning. All right, I'm looking at the map. Where haven't we gone? I think it's like through this like nightmare valley. Really? We could beam out, but I'm not a coward, you know. I don't want to use the doubler, because it's good. But I think we just shoot that and accept, like... Unfortunately, like, it seems like... I, I understand maybe I'm just dumb or bad. Or both. But I don't know, like, it looks like I, I just always take damage. Hits multiple enemies in a straight line. I mean, like, not where you want to use it. But it just seems like there's no way not to take damage. Which I shouldn't complain too much, because it seems like you could get, like, a lot of healing done. And also, like... Let me through, dude. I... I I got nothing else to do today. Place a small explosive and then ends the round. You're going to do two damage. If I play this, will I still take damage? What now, coward? Enjoy. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay. The explosives are very, very potent. I'm concerned about the fact that we have a lot of like stuff floating around my boy. On top of that, he doesn't look too good. So I'm a little a little concerned, sure. But at the at the same time, there seems to be like at least decent amounts of food lying around. Okay. I don't even know what our end goal is. I don't like how this little Digimon here is like waving its appendage at me. So I'm just gonna kinda not retreat. Oh, I'm poisoned. Ah, that's what that means. What are you? A pressure cooker? Plasma bomb. Right. Um, let's not deal with that. We're gonna have to deal with this little boy here. Man, I could really use some damaging cards. Heal! Oh, deal for damage. I got so excited for a second. Um, oops. <laughs> Man, yo! That was Space Grunts 2. Thank you very much to the developer and the publisher for giving me a copy of the game. Uh, check it out. It's on Steam right now. It's, I think it's like $15 Canadian, so adjust that to wherever you might happen to live in like you know the geography of the world. 
If you like the episode, hit the like button. It does help me out. And of course, if you want to see more of my content in the future, hit the subscribe button, join the Fate Tribe. And I mean, if you watched all 19 minutes and 56 seconds of this video, maybe you liked it. Maybe you should subscribe. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you what to do. But I mean, as a content creator, it's kind of what I am. We're getting close to 150 subs. means a lot to me. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. I can't hit the end record button on the OBS because I need to tab out. But the, you know what? Don't let that ruin the ending of this video. Stay safe, you beautiful people.